Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So uh, running through another video covering our utility actions. Today, we're gonna have a look at how to extract URLs from text. So I have a basic scenario. Um, and what I'm looking to do is when I add a document uh, of some kind into this document, the SharePoint document library, I wanna read any URLs that are contained within that document. I wanna extract them and then I wanna update this URLs um, column uh, in, the, in the SharePoint library to say the, you know, add the URLs that are found within that document. So here's my Power Automate flow. We're saying when a new file gets created, go and get the file itself and we need to do something with it to get the URLs out of it. And then I want to update that URLs column there. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to, I'm going to convert the files to PDF. Now that might seem a bit odd, but the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to be able to um, extract the text within the file, regardless of what what file format is. So if it, if it comes in as a as a Word document, if it comes in as a Visio file or an image or something else, I know if I convert it to PDF, I can then extract the PDF text layer um, and and actually process that text. What I'll simply do there is I can say ext, so I don't really need to worry about what type of file it is. I can say go and get this file. And then I can say, again, just give me the file back. I'll just say file name with extension. Now, what come, what happens there with that PDF file name is it will essentially take the file name going in regardless of the extension and then replace it with .pdf. So if it's called one.vsdx, it will come out as one.pdf, for example. The next things I'm going to do, I need to get the text layer itself. So let's get the text contained within the document. So there we go, encoding get PDF text layer. Again, I can pass the file name from convert to PDF and I can pass the file in, brilliant. And the next thing I'm then gonna do is I'm now gonna add, um, so at this point, sorry, I should add, so at this point, the file's been added, we've retrieved the file, we've converted it to PDF, regardless of what file format it is, we've then extracted the text contained within that document. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a utility action to go and, um, let's just find the encoding connector, uh, okay. And I'm going to click see more, see more, because we know the util actions are at the bottom because they're all prefixed with utility. And we should have somewhere within here, extract uh, URLs from text, perfect. And what I'm going to pass to this action is the text layer that's been scraped from the document. So that is the text within it. Now at this point, if I was to say, if I was going to do something with that property, let me just, for example, you'll notice that I've got result item. And this is because the utility extract URLs from text action returns an array, so one or more URLs. So if I was to select result item, what you'll see is that basically it would update and overwrite that URL field for every URL that got contained. So ultimately, I, I would end up with a single URL, which would be the last one in the array because it would just update the item n number of times pertaining to how many URLs have been extracted. Clearly, that's not what I want to do. So let me just get rid of that. Um, sorry, let me just... Take that out of there and pop him back up there. And then I'll just delete that apply to each. So what I want to do is get all the URLs into a, into a single string. And we'll do that with another utility action. Um, so this time, let's just do utility hyphen. And we want concatenate text. Perfect. And what we're going to do, just switch it to it so I can send it an array. I'll pass it the array of URLs, which is the result property from extract URLs and I can set a delimiter. So the delimiter I'm gonna use is a comma and a space. So every for every URL that gets concatenated even together, we'll pop in um, a comma and a space. Now what I can do is I can pass the result property from the utility concatenate text action straight into here. Okay, uh, result, there we go. So that is pretty much it. So regardless really, I mean the convert to PDF covers sort of 75 plus different um, files. So, you know, all your office formats, um, uh, OneNote, um, PSDs, uh, lots of different stuff, Visio documents, but also things like CAD and all that sort of stuff as well. So you've got quite good coverage there. We'll get the text out of it, we'll extract the URLs, concatenate them to a single value, and then we're gonna update the file properties. So that that really is the flow. So what we can do now is we can we can drop a file in um, and actually give this a test. So bear with me a moment whilst I upload the file. 
So here we are, we just drop this file in here. And that will trigger that Power Automate flow for us. So what I should be able to do, if I click back here, I should see that get picked up in the run history. So we'll just give, oh, apologies, let me go back one. Let's refresh that. Yep, that's run now, so that's gone through. So let's have a quick look at what's happened here. So we see the flow's executed successfully. Here we go, we converted to PDF, we've got the text layer, we've got the URLs out, we've concatenated that value. And I should see in here the value that it's added into the SharePoint property. So I can see there, those are the three values that got extracted from that text. Uh, and if I go up to SharePoint and I refresh that, uh, we can perfect, we can see those values have been added into it. Cool. So hopefully that gives you um, a real world example of how you might use the extract URLs from text action. As ever, if you have any questions about how to, to work uh, with any of the utility actions or any of the other actions, you can email us at supportencoding.com. And of course, don't forget to check out the support portal, which can be found at support.encoding.com.